Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a pretty cool one for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at the Bentsai Mini Printer. So uh, this is kind of a mystery to me. Uh, they reached out and wanted me to review this and uh, it looked really cool uh, in the video that they had online. So this mini printer has a Wi-Fi connection, waterproof ink, invisible ink, a bunch of color options. Uh, it just looks really cool. So I'm going to pop it open here and let's see what we've got. So here it is, let's pop it open here. And I think they are launching on Kickstarter, uh, maybe today, today's the 15th. That was their original date. Uh, not sure if it got pushed back or anything, but um, I'll leave links to all that down below if you wanna check it out. On their website, it looks like you can get in on this as a super early bird for like 229 bucks. So let's see what we got for 200 bucks. Now I do wanna thank them for sending this out free for review. Looks like we got quality control passing, so that is always good. Uh, we've got a little booklet here with an app download it looks like and i did search the app store for bentsai and i did not see anything so this must be something else this is in chinese this is in english probably have to read through this uh, because this thing does seem pretty intense but once it gets going it should be super easy but here's the printer itself and this one is the yellow color variant but they do have others if you're not into yellow looking pretty cool and then i think this is ink yeah so this is some black ink <laughs> looks pretty heavy duty. This looks like a full printer, uh, but this thing can do apparently 2 million or 4 million characters or something printing. So it can do a ton. Uh, so I am looking forward to that. So let's take this out. Looks like it's got USB-C. That is interesting. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is purple in there and in here. I have never seen that before on a USB cable. Cool. So I think that's it for the box. Yep. Pretty premium unboxing, honestly. Uh, that's very nice, especially for the price that you're paying. Uh, you would expect something kind of like that. So let's close this up and let's set that to the side. So I just scanned the code and it went to this in the app store. Uh, it looks like it is all in Chinese. So I have no idea what that says, but let's go ahead and download it and see what we got. So we are going to do this live for you guys because I'm going to figure this thing out with you uh, and we are going to test it out. So let's open it up. Pretty cool screen there. And thank God this is in English. <laughs> It's getting a little worried there. Probably going to have to connect the printer and might have to charge it up. We'll see. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That just swings right open. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying actually. Let's power it up. There we go. Add device. So there it is under Wi-Fi. So we will connect to it. And I believe it said the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops, seven, eight, join. Let's see how easy this is. So if you guys were to get one of these, I'm curious how easy it is to set up. So we'll wait for it to fully join here. That took a minute, but we are in now, so we should be able to add the device. And let's see. There it is. I guess that is it. So check success. Giving me a little beep feedback, so I'm assuming that's a good thing. I hope so. <laughs> so we got 20% battery. That's not too good. So we're going to have to charge this thing up in a minute. Uh, what is this for? I don't even know what this does. So we're going to have to figure that out. Got the IP address, which is cool. It's connected. Everything looks good. So let's put in this ink. So I've got to figure out how to do this because I don't want to screw this up and get ink all over the studio. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off and it looks like this contact goes in there. So I'm going to guess it goes like this. So slide it in, close it. Boom. But let's go through some of the settings here and just see what we've got. So we got print. Okay. So we can change the resolution. Uh, we got text handheld, gray level, tone, so it can beep, power, power save. Let's check the ink here. Okay, so we can change that. Network, factory, no, let's not do that. And language, I'm assuming, yeah, there's a bunch of languages in there if you want. So that's cool. Local info, yeah, that's just like serial number. Network info is just network info. Maintenance, nozzle clean, nozzle test. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to print. But then this side right here comes off. It's like a magnet and I think it can print now. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Let's check if there is a firmware upgrade just to be sure we're good to go before we do this. Your request failed. So that's not good. Let's see if there's any. Okay. So there's nothing downloaded. So let's just assume there's nothing there. Um, let's go back to maintenance and let's do a demo page. Okay. So I think there's two print jobs in there. This is going to be my first time using this. Let's just see. Whoa, what? Oh, that is cool. Hold up. 
Okay, I'm guessing that was just a test. Holy crap, that's cool. <laughs> it's just so weird to be able to just print something. Let me try something else. So let's go back to demo page and let's do that again. We'll do it right over the side here. So you just kind of hold it like this and... Okay, so I think I figured it out. I was having some trouble there, but you basically do demo page, it goes to it. Then you have to click the button when you're ready and then you swipe and it does it. That's really cool. I have never seen anything like that before. Um, that's just super sick. So let's use the back of this as the test dummy here uh, for some other things. So there are more QR codes in there just in case. This is magnetic, it clips right back on. This is super cool. So let's go back here and uh, let's just go to, and let's just say subscribe. Click check mark. And how do we print that? I guess we just click the print button. It's gonna print one time. We'll take the lid off, get ready to print it. So it's going to the printer now, I think. I think. Actually, this light's blue now, so let's go ahead and try it. Let's try it first without pressing the button, see if anything happens. Nothing happens. Let's press the button, and let's see if anything happens. Oh, that's so cool. It's like magic, because there's nothing, it's not like a, there's nothing there. It's not like one of those Dymo printers where there's like tape. This is, I don't know how long this takes to dry. Looks like it's pretty much dry on instant. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never seen anything like this. So I don't know why it says printing two times. Uh, so does it want to do it again? It does. So it wants you to subscribe twice. Um, let's close out of that and we're gonna do, I'm gonna pull up a picture and see if it can do that. So let's see. All right, so I have a picture of a duck with a USB port for a head. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but let's just print it. So we'll send it to the printer and uh, I think it's ready to go. So let's press it. <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, so it kind of printed it. Uh, I noticed it kind of smears a little bit because there's so much uh, ink that has to be used and I guess it can only do black and white, it makes sense. I think there are different colors, but this one only came with this one. So I'm gonna have to buy some more, I think. Yeah, there's black, red, blue, green, yellow, white, and invisible. Invisible sounds really cool. It's like some spy stuff right there. But yeah, so I guess uh, this picture, since it's black and white, uh, there's really not a whole lot that it could do with that. It's not a super high quality image, it's just a random meme off the internet. So it looks like we can add time, we can add picture, barcode, QR codes, numbers. Um, it can increment, so maybe I could start it at one and then just go up from there. So let's go to new and let's go to time and let's go to right there. And that is actually dynamic, so that is changing. So if I print it now while it's going, let's see, uh, print, so. That is the current time that it was sent to the printer. Let's see if I press it here, do it again. It is updated. So let's see if it's by the time that I press it or by the time that I print it. It's probably by the time I press it. So if I press it now, it's 42 seconds after. And let's wait. Let's go again. Interesting. I can't explain that difference. I don't know why it went from, I guess it is by when you press it. I'm not sure. All right, so I just made my own QR code right within this app. So let's go ahead and print it and see if it really works. So there's the QR code. It's a little bit wonky there, um, but let's try to scan it and see if we can. It cannot scan that. Uh, maybe I am doing something wrong. Let's try again here. So I'm gonna go a little slower this time. Okay, I'm just going way too fast. That's what it is. So let's try that one. Yep. <laughs> says hi. Well, I basically created my own QR code from within the Bensai or Foxprint, Print Fox app, printed it straight onto here. So wow, I am thoroughly impressed with this. So if you're someone that needs to label a lot of things, and I'm talking a lot super quickly and dynamically, this is what you want. So it looks like even in here, I can add files. So I can add tons of different ones that I want to save uh, and just easily quickly get to them. There's even a database option in here uh, with variable codes. And this is fantastic. Let's try one more thing. Let's try a barcode here. Uh, I'm just going to make it say hello, even though I don't think this matters because I don't think I have anything that can check it, but there we go. And last test for this thing. Let's do that right here. So it looks like actually, I think it's still printing. Oh, I didn't hit the print button. So let's hit that. There we go. So I think you have to wait till it's blue. Once it's blue, you click the button and you slowly, we're going to go slowly this time. Look how clean that looks. 
that looks so good. Now the middle of the QR code does have a little bit of artifacting, but QR codes are known to be resilient to that. So yep, it still works. And I don't think it can do barcodes. So uh, that is just so cool. I've never seen anything like this. I have to say I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. And for 200 bucks, how can you go wrong with that? So this goes on like so, and it kind of keeps the ink in there. Uh, it keeps it from going bad. So let's try, let's try turning it off by holding. I don't know if that's gonna work. It beeped. I hope it doesn't want to print again. Is it trying to print again? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look how clean that is. Let's see how quickly it dries if I can. Okay, it did, definitely did not dry that time. Just let it dry for a couple seconds before you try smudging it, but that was just a test. And again, I need to reiterate, this does not have tape. There's no tape on here. And this ink, I believe, is waterproof. So if I get this wet now, uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, the invisible ink can be used for like anti-counterfeiting measures and stuff like that. Um, so if you really want to nail down something, this is a great way to do it. So the device itself, not super heavy, um, but it does have an, it has a nice weight to it, but it's not like uh, crazy. You could just put this in your bag. Um, the ink looks very easy to remove. Haven't tried that, not going to. Uh, this is where you print from, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory there. And uh, yeah, there's not much to it. It just works. So. Check it out guys, um, check out their Kickstarter. I'll have links to their product on their website as well as their Kickstarter if you wanna go pick one of these up for yourself. Couple different colors to choose from here. The yellow one looks pretty sick though, I must say. Now I only tested it on this box here, uh, but this says it can work on cardboard, wood, plastic, metal, concrete, stone, PE, rubber, ceramics, textiles, and even organic substrates. So I must say that is impressive. I wonder if this works on skin. It's probably a bad idea, but I think for science we're gonna have to find out. So uh, this is for science. Oof. All right, that was stupid. I tried to put it on my hand, uh, <laughs> did not work. Um, but on their website, they have someone that did it on their arm. I'm not gonna do that because I don't know if this black is non-toxic and it kind of feels funny. So I'm gonna go wash my hands. But if you wanna check this out, like I said, links down below, super cool stuff. Uh, this thing can do a lot. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.